Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a rider that is included in analytical geometry. It usually has a few questions in one. But in order to do it, you must be able to know all your work. Now what they're saying is M is the center at minus 4 and 4. Now that becomes very important because if M is the center, then this is a radius. And LP and NQ are tangents, which means immediately we know this is 90 degrees. Now, if that is 90 degrees, then they tell us, determine the equation of LN. Now, we have the gradient of LP. From this equation, y is equal to mx plus c. You can see that the m of LP is equal to minus 1. And since it is 90 degrees, we know that the m now of ml is going to equal to 1. The reason for that it is perpendicular, tangent, perpendicular to radius. And if it's perpendicular, we know m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. Now, if we got the m and we got the point, minus 4 and 4, then we use the straight line equation, simply substitute which will give us the equation y is equal to x plus 8. Now, that would be determine the equation of ln. The next question says calculate L. Now, L is where the two coordinates are meeting. And when the two coordinates are meeting, then we do simultaneous equations. So the two graphs are basically cutting each other. Now, what are the two equations we're going to work with? Minus x plus 2 and x plus 8. If we're doing simultaneous equations, we can say minus x plus 2 is equal to x plus 8. This is your grade 10 simultaneous equation. So you shouldn't have a problem with this. At this level, this should be child's play for you. Now we have x is minus 3. How do I get y? I got y is equal to 5. So my coordinate of L is minus 3 and 5. Remember, if you just used your drawing, that could be a guide for you to say you're right or wrong. But if you just simply read it off your graph, you will get no marks. They will penalize you and they will not give you the marks for it. So don't think, okay, you know what, it has coordinates, I can just use it. It doesn't work. Sometimes the graphs are not drawn to scale and they will definitely not give you your marks for it. Now, the next one says, determine the equation of the circle. Now, to get the equation of the circle, we need a center and a point. Our center is minus 4 and 4 and our point is minus 3 and 5. Right now we have a center and we have a point. Now the equation is x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared is equal to r squared. Remember this is a question that includes all our previous work. So if you don't know what I'm doing, you have to go to your previous work, look at that videos and understand what I'm doing before attempting this question. Now we're going to substitute our centers into x1 and y1. So I have x plus 4 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared is equal to r squared. Then I substitute my minus 3 and 5 into my x and y. So I have minus 3 plus 4 all squared plus 5 minus 4 all squared is equal to r squared. That gives me 1 squared plus 1 squared is equal to r squared. My r squared is equal to 2. Rewrite the equation. So it's x plus 4 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared is equal to and that is the equation of the circle. Then they ask, get the coordinates of n. This is simply a transformation question. Its transformation is not a big section. Uh, we don't teach it anymore. It's like a 
kind of a question where you must use your logic, okay? Now, if I'm folding the paper over, so in other words, I'm taking this point and I'm folding it on, L and N will be flush onto each other. So what changes? Look, you have a minus 5 and 3. So that is just a normal question by looking at it and they'll say, what is the coordinates of N? And you can say it's going to be minus 5 and 3. It's actually a reflection over your x is equal to minus y line or your y is equal to minus x line and you had done that in your functions in grade 10 and grade 11 under hyperbola. So the coordinates for n is minus 4 and 3. Thank you for watching.